What's up guys? Welcome to your 141st Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial, well we're basically going to finish up you know, our first button where we can draw to the screen. Draw our icon uh, to a certain location on our map. So what we're going to first do is we have this list overview, overlay type list and we want to create that so we can reference it within our um, you know our add pinpoint um, alert button so let's just cut this out and we're gonna paste it above and then we're also gonna whoa we're also gonna you know copy that set that equal to our map overlays right here so again that's just gonna get our overlays from our map view and then we're gonna add you know our touchy that we have uh, set up down here um, touchy class so now that we have that set up we can kind of reference it within this on click method of place a pinpoint we also have you know this geo point that is getting the projection from our pixels uh, according to where we touch on the screen so we're gonna reference that as well first thing that we need to do is create an overlay item so we're just gonna say overlay item and we're just gonna call this overlay item something like that and we're gonna set this equal to a new overlay item and we're gonna to refer to our point our geo point called touch point so we're gonna to say touch point and then we're also gonna add some you know some string references which I'll show you guys what that does at the end of this tutorial so we're just gonna say what's up up and then also another one is just maybe second string so you guys know what which parameters do what um, nothing too complex here but uh, we just created a new overlay item now what we want to do is we want to refer to our custom variable and we want to add this overlay item so we're just gonna say custom and we have that method within our custom class which we created called insert pinpoint and we're gonna insert our overlay item that we just created so all that's gonna do is add it to our array list that we set up because again it takes overlay item which is what we created here and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say our overlay list uh, which we created or which we modified at the beginning of this tutorial that gets all of our overlays we call it overlay list and we're just gonna add now our custom overlay so we're just gonna say custom here and we're pretty much done with this tutorial again all that we're doing is we're creating an overlay item that is gonna be our touch point reference then we're creating a custom pinpoint object which is gonna pass in the context or I'm sorry a drawable and then the context what that's gonna do is call this constructor um, custom pinpoint the drawable and the context then we're passing our drawable into this constructor because again we're just passing a drawable so it's going to shoot it up to this constructor where we're going to bound the center of that drawable and it's also going to set the context here and then we're going to go back to this class where we refer to that and we use the insert pinpoint where we just add an overlay to um, let me go back here we insert a pinpoint which just adds that overlay item that's being passed in to our pinpoint array list and then all we do is we use our overlay list from the top of this activity that grabs all of our overlays and we add this new one called custom that we just set up so let's run our application make sure it works and kind of show you guys what it does so now what we can do is we can hold and click click and hold and we can say place pinpoint and it places a pinpoint right at the center location where we clicked now even when we you know zoom in it's always going to be there at that location and that's again our custom overlay that we created and basically what we could do which I probably won't do in this tutorial or in this series is we could click on it and refer to these string references that we set up here called what's up and second string um, you know that's why we added those string references but uh, you know for the most part we aren't going to worry about that but again we can place as many pinpoints as we want 
um, place pinpoint it takes a little bit uh, to place it but uh, there we go and again we can zoom in and see where we actually place that pinpoint but uh, that's pretty much it for our maps tutorial we still might be working with this application uh, to get like location see where the phone is and all that stuff and uh, and all that good stuff but as for Google Maps and I mean pretty much that's all we're gonna do now we're gonna work with location and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial uh, where we're gonna do that so have a good one and I'll see you guys later peace